Hi, I'm Nick Saunders. I'm a fifth year grad student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa Institute for Astronomy, and I study exoplanets. Uh, so an exoplanet is just a planet that orbits any star outside of our solar system, and I primarily search for these exoplanets using what's called the transit method. So to use the transit method, we stare at stars for weeks to months and measure their brightness over time. And occasionally, a planet will block some of that brightness. And so if we picture this light as a distant star, and we're measuring its brightness over time, if a planet orbits this tennis ball, it will occasionally pass in front of the star and block some of its light. And it will do this once every time it orbits. And so it creates this very periodic signal of dips in the brightness of the star that we're measuring. I searched for these dips, or transits, around millions of stars using data from the NASA TESS mission. TESS is a space telescope that orbits the Earth, allowing us to stare at the stars for months, uninterrupted by the day-night cycle, the atmosphere, or clouds. For my research, I'm mostly interested in finding and characterizing planets orbiting old stars. And by old, I mean stars that are entering the final stages of their evolution. When stars like the Sun evolve, they become cooler, they swell up and become much more luminous, and this can dramatically impact the environments of the planets orbiting them. So if we want to understand what happens to solar systems like our own, it's important to find more of these planets and better understand their fates.